Welcome back to the Heart Dietitian channel. It's Veronica, the Heart Dietitian, and today we're discussing the differences between olive oil and butter for heart health. So let's first talk about what is olive oil, what is butter. So olive oil comes from a plant, an olive tree. The olive itself is squeezed and or pressed, and the oil that's removed is called olive oil. When we look at butter, butter comes from an animal and it does have different varieties of butter. You could do it, they could be made with salted or unsalted, but it is coming primarily from an animal. So we know that anything that comes from an animal does have some dietary cholesterol in it. And that's because all animals have a liver and cholesterol is stored and processed through the liver. So any product that's coming from animals will also have dietary cholesterol. So that's something that butter does have is dietary cholesterol. Olive oil comes from a plant and plants don't have a liver, therefore no dietary cholesterol. The other thing that's different between the two is that olive oil, the oil itself is mainly uh, unsaturated oil, specifically a mono unsaturated oil. And the American Heart Association does recommend eating more unsaturated fats to help lower our LDL cholesterol levels. When we think about butter, butter is mainly something called saturated fat. And the American Heart Association says we can have some saturated fat, but we don't wanna to have too much saturated fat because too much can increase our LDL cholesterol levels. So looking at the two, we see the difference. Olive oil has a heart healthy fat that can lower your LDL cholesterol. Butter has a type of fat that can raise your LDL cholesterol if you eat too much of it. So there's the difference. The other benefits of olive oil is that it does have some antioxidants in it, um, some vitamins as well, like vitamin E, and those have been shown to help reduce inflammation as well as protect the arteries, uh, from plaque buildup and helped the, the blood flow, help to reduce our blood pressure as well. It's been studied a lot within the Mediterranean diet because in the Mediterranean diet, olive oil is their main source of fat and the Mediterranean diet does have a lot of great research behind it to say that eating that way can prevent a heart attack uh, or if you've had a heart event, it can prevent a secondary heart event. So a lot of great research there about heart health. Butter, on the other hand, does not have the same type of evidence as well as none of those antioxidants or vitamins that the olive oil has. So again, there's the difference. There are different types of olive oil though when you are purchasing olive oil. So you wanna be aware that uh, there's lots of different versions, you know, something called extra virgin olive oil, all the way to refined olive oil. Now, I encourage you to buy the extra virgin olive oil because extra virgin means it's a first press of the olive and thus less processing goes into it. Whereas the refined olive oil has a lot more processing and therefore less antioxidants, less vitamins because the more processed something is, the less likely those things will be retained in the product. And then another couple points is when you do purchase the extra virgin olive oil to maintain those antioxidants, you wanna to try to purchase it in a dark container if possible. If it's not in a dark container, that's okay, but store it in a dark, cool place. A lot of the time I do see olive oil right beside the, the oven, like it's on display there, uh, which looks nice, but we don't wanna heat it because if we heat it, then they have the potential to destroy those antioxidants that are in there. So uh, keep it in a cool, dark place and then only heat it when you're actually cooking. It has the less potential to, or more potential to keep those heart healthy benefits in the olive oil. So I hope that helps to talk about the difference or understand the difference between olive oil and butter and which one is more heart healthy. Make sure you, uh, if you want more information, I guess you can uh, check the comments. There is a blog post all about this in a lot more detail. So feel free to check that out. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so for more heart healthy tips and recipes.